welcome back to Hi Coco's channel. Hi Coco. New makeup arrivals at Hi Coco always gets everyone thrilled. And this month we have finally released the new version of Hera Black Cushion. I'm pretty sure so many of our beauties have been waiting for this product, Hera New Black Cushion. From last week's video, we have introduced our new arrivals during level 3 and level 4. And actually, this Hera New Black Cushion was one of them. But while I was taking the note on this product, I got like so many things to share with our beauties. So I am making another video for this week. Today, I'm going to briefly introduce the new Hera Black Cushion and compare it with their previous version of already perfect original Hera Black Cushion. Let's get started. Let's talk about the packaging first. The Hera Black Cushion's packaging has been updated, which I reckon looks more sleek and minimal. As you can see, Hera has updated their logo, so it makes it more simple and high class looking. And the biggest change is the case. The new version has a magnetic button closure, so it's easier to open and close and more convenient to carry around. This makes the Hera Black Cushion looks more valuable and elegant. The original Hera Black Cushion featured a press button closure like most of other cushion foundation. And the new Hera Black Cushion Compact is also slightly bigger than the previous version, making it easier to hold when applying the product. Let's talk about the shades. If you are the K-Beauty expert, you may know most Korean foundation comes with shade 21 and 23. However, the trend has been changing and K-Beauty is widely known internationally. So many of K-Beauty makeup brands are starting to make a variety of different shades and Hera is one of them. The original Hera Black Cushion had six shades, which seems just enough. However, to embarrass everyone with different shades and skin tone, some could say that there was a lack of variety in undertones. To fit the needs of their customers, Hera made the new black cushion with eight different shades, varying in both neutral and cool undertones. At Hi Coco, we've brought four of Hera's most versatile neutral shades for our beauties. 17 and 1 Ivory, 21 and 1 Vanilla, 23 and 1 Beige, 25 and 1 Amber. With the shades compared next to each other, it would be clear enough to say that the new black cushion shades are about a half ton brighter than the original shades. So now I will try the new version and an old version of Hera Black Cushion on each side and see how they are different. Meanwhile, I will talk about the puff and texture. So I'm going to try the old version here and the new version here. And both of them are number 21. So I'm going to start with the old version of Hera Black Cushion. So the big change of the new Hera Black Cushion is the puff. The puff has not only changed the appearance, it also has a different technology. The original Hera Black Cushion had a puff called Ruby Cell Puff. This puff material is used by many brands because of its antibacterial properties. The Ruby Cell is ideal when wanting a full coverage base while creating a flawless base on the skin. However, it's slightly difficult to control the amount of the foundation, so you have to dab it like 100 times to spread them evenly. You can already see that's evening out my skin tone. Here and here. The original Hera Black Cushion has got the powdery semi-matte finish, which made the foundation long-lasting. And let's try the new Hera Cushion number 21N1. Now the new cushion is paired with the so-called layering puff. This layering puff the Hera brought out has apparently been compressed two times compared to the original one. So it's actually thinner and flexible than the original version. The layering puff has the ability to absorb less product in one go, which allows mm. for better spreadability and adherence. Therefore, you are able to achieve a more even and natural application. You can evenly spread the product and it gives high coverage without a cakey finish. A slightly glow. And as I said before, this shade is slightly lighter than the previous one. So it's brightened up my skin tones. Hera's new magnet fit pigment technology makes the semi-matte cushion feels lighter. 
allowing it to look less cakey while also providing more moisture to the skin. I would say that comparing to the old version, the new version gives more feathery like texture because I thought both of them has got the similar finish or texture but it doesn't. It didn't make my skin feel very uncomfortable because many of the semi-matte or matte finish foundation contains the powder but sometimes it's quite itchy or feel like it clogging my pores. So the new hair black cushion is easy to spread with a thin layer. Also, it covers the pores and the little bumps on my forehead. And if you want to get an extra coverage on the specific area, you can apply once more, like you can layer the product on the top of it, or you can use the concealer to conceal it. And let's have a look at the coverage. The coverage of both hair cushion are very similar. Both cushion have a medium first layer coverage that can be built up to a perfect full coverage. Cover rednesses and less apparent spots when applied after two layers on the area of concern. Yet, I feel like the new cushion does a better job on covering up the bumps and pores I, as I told you before with the foundation's finer formula. So let's talk about the adherence. Hair Black Cushion is also well known for mask proof foundation which means that it's anti-smudging foundation while you're wearing a mask. Even in New Zealand, mask is must. For the original black cushion, it was loved by most of the combination of oily skin due to its instant powdery finish. However, the key was you need to apply the foundation only the appropriate amount. Otherwise, it will be cake up at the end. I felt like the adherence part is the most difference between these two products mostly due to the difference in their puff. With the synergy of the new formula and new puff, the new cushion feels more hydrating and adhere well to the skin. So now I'll back in a few hours later to see how well this foundation stays well on my skin. Especially when our new daily item face mask gets in the way. It has been about 5 hours already since I applied this foundation and I've been working at the office with my face mask on and let's see how this foundation stays on my skin wow. Only my lipsticks came off and there is no foundations only the foundation came off from my nose bridge. So first off, I would like to point out there are no foundation on the mask. As I said before, I had oily dehydrated skin. So I always need to touch up my base makeup around my T-zone because it's quite oily. But as you can see, the foundation sticks well on my skin without accentuating flakes too much. The mask physically touches and rubs the skin, but it's really impressive, like impressive, impressive that the foundation didn't come off. But um, the old black cushion that stays on my skin, but around my nose, you can see over here, it's a little bit smudged and oil came off from my pores. The nose bridge and nose tip area has been came off. So you can see the mask, the string pressed on my skin for a whole day. So there is a little bit of the marks left, but there is no oil. It's still matte. See? So the mask physically touches and wraps the skin and the foundation, and we can't do much about it. But what's important is to find out the right product that smudges off the least, like the hair up like cushion. So I'll touch up my nose bridge, nose tip. It's easy to reapply the foundation on top of it because it blends well with the oil as well. Since the new black cushion has got a bit of the glow than the previous version, the old version looks a bit dry. Overall, I think Hera made subtle yet clear improvements to the renewed version. They have made this cushion versatile for not only different skin tones, but different skin types. While keeping the top tier level of long-lasting, perfect coverage and soft semi-matte finish. 
the new version managed to make itself easier to reapply, more moisturizing, and even light in texture. I can now understand why so many of our beauties have requested this new Hera Black cushion to be stocked in high cocoa. I hope this video gives the better understanding between the old version and new version of the Hera Black cushion. And I hope you beauties to try this fabulous product from Hera. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye beauties, let's be pretty!